I like to wear interesting socks, especially ones that have ducks on them. Why? Because, you know, I kind of like to stomp on quacks. But I never thought that by putting on socks, I would be exposing myself to a potentially nasty chemical called bisphenol A. What's this all about? Well, I come across a scientific paper in a highly respected journal where the researchers studied socks and they measured the amount of this chemical that was found in the fabric. Why should this be of any concern? Because bisphenol A, or BPA, as it is abbreviated, is often referred to as an endocrine disruptor. It has hormone-like activity, because it turns out that the molecular structure is very similar to the structure of some steroidal hormones like estrogen. And it can either enhance or block the action of these hormones, and that has consequences. There's a lot of concern these days about our exposure to bisphenol A. Where from? Well, for example, it is found in the lining of food cans. This is an epoxy resin, and it's there for a very important purpose. It protects the food from the canned material, and also protects the can from the food, because we don't want acidic foods eating little holes in the can so that bacteria can get in. Unfortunately, though, some of the bisphenol A, in minute amounts, can leach out from this lining into the food. It's not the only way that it gets into our body. Believe it or not, handling of cash receipts also is a very important vehicle for introducing this chemical into our body. This is what we call thermal paper. And in order to make it function, bisphenol A is used as a developer. Interestingly enough, when you just handle the paper, you can then extract the skin with alcohol and find bisphenol A even a lot more if a, a moisturizing cream or some sort of disinfectant has used, been used before. Then you can get hundreds of times more than under just ordinary conditions of, of handling. Bisphenol A is also found in polycarbonate plastics, things like this, a very, very hard plastic, great useful material. From here, it doesn't leach out at all. It is also found in things like safety glasses because it is hard and very protective. So it has all kinds of, of uses. But indeed, there is some issue about it getting into our, our body. Uh, I'm not worried about handling polycarbonate plastics. I'm not really worried about uh, going into the lab and using polycarbonate equipment. In fact, it's great, it doesn't break. But when it comes to uh, the lining of food cans and handling of receipts, that's a different story. Because studies have shown that in fact, even the tiny amounts that find their way into our body from those sources may have health consequences. Now, the studies are, are somewhat iffy, but it's really quite interesting that even small amounts, at least in laboratory studies and in animals, have been shown to have detrimental effects. What about my socks? Well, there may be some BPA on there. I'm not sure where it comes from. Maybe because of the recycling of thermal paper, uh, it comes into contact with fibers. Uh, maybe some of the packaging material has BPA and gets into all kinds of, of, of fabrics. But I'm not worried about the socks. I don't think that there is a significant amount that leaches out from them. And of course, I don't plan on putting my socks on the dinner plate. Uh, interestingly enough, as you can see, I have yet another pair of such socks.